Hey guys, welcome back to RIP and a new power series. Behind me is a 2020 Dodge Durango GT equipped with a Pentastar V6. The Durango guys have really been reaching out and they wanted us to show their vehicle with our power package. Now today, we'll be showcasing our ignition coil. Now what is ignition? Essentially, ignition is a spark that lights the fire in the engine of the Pentastar engine and all engines really. An engine is an air pump and it's powered by gasoline and oxygen. The thing that sparks all that is the spark plug at the other end of this ignition coil. Now this is called coil on plug. What that means is you have six cylinders with six spark plugs and six individual coils. And each one of those are firing spark energy to light both that mixture of fuel and oxygen. So I'll slow down here for a second. When people buy performance parts like larger air filters or heavier breathing exhaust system, they're looking to maximize the combustion cycle to make more power and how the ignition coil and our ignition coil, which is 20% more powerful than stock, and that's a pretty big number, okay, how that comes into play is that it's gonna give you more spark energy during that combustion cycle. So in other words, when you're firing those off, this is the thing that's gonna set that fire up and bring that power down into that piston. Now, you see a couple of components here. Uh, these two really are the main components, and this is what we're explaining why the 2016 and newer vehicles are a different platform from our 2015. The main difference is you could see the size here. Uh, the older 2015 and older vehicle is just a teeny bit smaller, you know, by size, but more importantly, it's a two wire setup, which means that's how it gets the signal to the actual coil. And the newer vehicles have a three wire and that's how you identify what you have. Why doesn't the dealer make this product on their own? Why don't they make it better? And the short answer is that it costs a lot for them to make a product like this. This is a high performance product. Therefore, the components that we're using in here are of higher grade material. You could see what this is made like on our website. So if you go to ripmods.com, we don't hide how we make them better. Uh, so in here, basically there is a winding made out of copper and that copper is a better grade. So the copper itself has less oxygen in it, which means it carries more energy around. There's also a core in there in which it's wound around and that core is made to dissipate heat better. The resin that we're using in here also dissipates heat better, which keeps the consistency of the spark and the wire or the spring that's in here is made of a more efficient material which carries more current down to the spark plug itself. What that means to you is you're going to get better throttle response, overall uh, more power through the mid-range and all the way up to redline, and overall you could also see a little bit better gas mileage. Now most guys will put this in their vehicle and drive the car harder so they'll lose some, but the idea is if you start to drive the car normal you could gain you know a point or two and that's hey that's free. But you are looking for the power and that's what these give. At this point uh, we'd like to demonstrate then how we do that is with a chassis dyno. Those of you that know what a chassis dyno is you know that it's measuring horsepower at the wheel, but in reality what it's doing is measuring real world power and that's how we present our power to you we don't use you know percentages or things of that nature we're showing you exactly what you'll be driving Okay, and so now we ran it on the dyno and we did uh, three passes for good measure so that way we can make sure that you know what we're gaining is isolated and demonstrating itself. So again, no other mods. The modification that went in is just the installation of our coils like we were saying. So when you look at that red pass, you can see this red line is pretty prominent down here. It ends up at 202 and that's correct with other vehicles that we've seen all wheel drive. They put down anywhere from 198 to about 210. Now we've had other vehicles on the dyno that uh, have this modification. Blue, brown, and purple are with the modification. So that would be 17, 18, 19. You could see here we ended up at 238.9 horsepower, almost 239. So that's a pretty sizable gain for something like this. Again, isolating this one mod, running it between 2,500 RPMs and red line. So that would be 6,500 RPMs. And, and you know, these, these captures are done the way they're done. And so sometimes they will go a little bit over. I'm not overrunning the engine in any way. It's 6,500 RPM. You can see here immediately you have, you know, more torque right off the bat because there's that explosion that you have, right? So the idea is that you have more spark energy. You are bringing more spark energy for that explosion. Therefore, the engine is starting to straighten itself out. As a matter of fact, if you start seeing, you know, blue, blue had an inconsistency as soon as we put that in, right? 
and then there's a neural network in there. For those of you that don't know what a neural network is, that's basically the ability for the engine to tune itself. So it monitors knock sensors, it monitors exhaust, gases through the oxygen sensors, and it could see that there's improvement to be made. And so that's where it starts to self-tune. And you could see blue is the first one, there's a dip in power there, and that brown color 18 already starts to straighten itself out. And finally, for control at temperature, so there was no cool down session between this. So the oil temperature was at about 202, 208 degrees. The transmission was running at about 180, and the engine was up to operating temperatures. We did these back to back to back. As the car got warmer, you could see the car got cleaner as well. So that starts straightening itself out. And that's what clients feel. They feel that tip in power. As soon as they put the mod out, they say, oh, I felt it as soon as I got out of the driveway. And that's true because you could see how the vehicle felt when it was first here, you know, when you first got it, and how much more throttle response you're gonna get when you install this mod. So we took time to demonstrate this as a single mod. It's important to understand that when we demonstrate this, we're not putting this on a modified car. It's difficult to show it on a modified car because those cars have been through other tuning sessions, right? You tuned it on the stock coil, you tuned it on, on a different spark plug, you have an exhaust system, you have an air filter system. When we get into debate about what these things are doing and how they work, we try to be as transparent as possible so that the end user understands what it is that they're purchasing and how it's gonna benefit them. To the end user who's not into all this mumbo jumbo, the car is just gonna feel livelier, have more throttle response, and through the mid-range and up into the higher RPM when you might be you know, having a little bit of fun with the car, you're gonna have more spark energy to give you that power in the seat. And it'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed what we had to show you. You can always check out the website, ripmods.com, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, or just give us a call. We pick up the phone. Thanks, guys.